this week's Music Monday, we'll have you calling the doctor with E E Electric Shock. Okay, this song totally rocks. We love this song. The driving bass line and the super catchy chorus has pushed this music video to around 16 million views. And I'm sure it's just gonna keep growing. Now, we usually have something to complain about when we're viewing a song, but it was really hard for us to find something to complain about with this song. The biggest complaint we could dig up is that this song kinda sounds really similar to FX's other songs, but that doesn't really bother us that much, so we're not really gonna put it up there in a complaint section. Hello, complaint section. Number one, my parrot is dead. Number two, FX's most recent song sounds similar to their last song, but it still rocks. Let's track that last one. Start to finish, we just really love the song and we think it perfectly fits FX's style. And we're very happy to see FX back in the game. Now, I know some people think that we keep on ragging on SM, but really some of our favorite songs of the year come from SM. Shiny Sherlock is still intensely awesome. And EXO's I Lost My Pants song is just as flawless as ever. Even in Ripito, Fipito, Sip Slow Motion. SM makes some really awesome music. We just I just wish we could say the same thing about their music videos, which, with their tendency to trap their artists in oddly lit rooms, are so painfully boring. They're colorful, that's for sure, but they're plotless and super duper pooper scooper uncreative. But honestly, and Simon and I have discussed this a lot outside of our videos, and we've come to a kind of shocking conclusion. From SM's perspective, why would they want to spend more money for a creative music video? And we don't mean this sarcastically. If the song sounds good, people will listen to it and watch the music video. And if they don't like the music video, it doesn't really matter because the fan groups will watch the music video on loop, regardless of how boring and repetitive the music video is, because they want to show support for their favorite group. So how would making a more creative music video really help out SM Entertainment? They're clearly getting tens of millions of views regardless, so I guess they think if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Now for their new groups like XO, SM is still trying to impress people and get new fans to the group. So of course they're gonna make a bigger budget video. But for those stable groups who already have tons of support, I guess they think it's a waste of money to spend money on a big budget video. However, if they are interested in getting new people into K-pop, people who aren't into Korean culture or aren't into Korean music, or have no association with Asian culture, then they're gonna need to change up the music videos a bit. That's all I'm saying. Now even though we super duper love the song, I'm personally getting really really bored with the really predictable music video machine which is SM Entertainment. Oh look, what a surprise. FX is wearing bizarre mismatched neon clothing. Ooh, a cactus earring. One single Junsu banana earring. A single dinosaur earring. Ooh, Amber is wearing a fashionable gold fanny pack as a life vest. And she has on just one sock, which is covered in random vegetables. And she pulled the whole look together with her army shorts. I mean, I get it. FX is supposed to be SM's like quirky, bizarre dressed group. But come on, isn't it possible for them to grow a bit and to change and to wear something that's actually fashionable and cool looking? They always look like a dollar store just like exploded all over them. I mean, what could possibly have happened for FX to get stuck with this particular image? Oh, good night, buddy. I'll see you later. Have a good night. You too. Oh, crap. Oh, God. I'm going to get fired for this. Uh, which one goes where? Oh, uh, okay, maybe this here and uh, this there. Oh, God. I hope that's enough. Oh, God. They'll never know. They'll never know. Horrendous neon fashion aside, the flashy boxes that SM is constantly trapping their artists in for music videos, for once, it's kind of relevant. The song is called Electric Shock, and you can see the neon lights kind of flowing, almost like an electrical current. So that, shockingly, makes sense. <laughs> Get it? Shock. Shockingly, makes sense. You cut out my joke at the beginning? Well, because your joke wasn't funny. The song is about falling in love. So playing with a defibrillator is kind of like a heart bouncy kind of metaphor, which makes sense. But dancing around with your friends and playing with cattle rods and tasers is just a little bit unfitting. Unless that kind of SM is your thing. SM entertainment. safety word for tonight is banana. And then there's that part of the song where they're describing to a doctor the symptoms that they're feeling. Hello, I am a doctor. Doctor, I've got the weirdest symptoms and I'm really worried. Tell me about them. Well, for starters, I think I'm going blind. I can see that. Please continue, tacky lady. Also, I'm out of breath. 
I have a fever. I can barely speak. <laughs> And my ears are ding dong ding dong. Ding dong ding dong is not a clinical term. Carry on. Also, my head is spinning and my heart is beating very fast. Is that all? Yes, doctor. Those are my symptoms. I, I think I'm in love. And I think you're dying from super megagitis black plague with a side of leprosy. Please touch your armpits. Ooh, tender. Oh yeah. Uh, we're gonna need a lockdown and quarantine on the super tacky lady. My name is Amber, okay? Not Super Tacky Lady. Don't Amber. come near me! Don't come near me, Super Tacky Lady! I thought the dance for this song was pretty cute. Not quite what I imagined for a song called Electric Shock, since this dance looks kind of more like a bicep curl. Yeah! You guys ready? You ready to sweat? You ready to do it? Okay, let's do this. All right, and let's go! One! Two, ooh yeah. One, two, ooh yeah. Now work them glutes, get on the floor. Oh, no, no. I take that back, I'm sorry. I take that back. I guess I kind of expected something more sharp and, and quick, a little fierce. Something like violent, like an electrical field that's like running through all the different members and when they touch each other, it sets off like a domino effect of dance moves, like someone's being electrocuted. That would be really cool. But I did like how the members kind of crisscrossed around each other and moved a lot on the stage, but it wasn't as intricate and catchy as some of their past dances like new ABO in danger. As for the English of the song, we give this a... Four out of five. It's got the typical amount of cool English words sprinkled throughout the song, and we're quite impressed at the word electric. Having the vast potential for disastrous mispronunciation was actually pronounced just fine. But there is one word in the song that makes no sense. Gagey. 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 I'm not sure if they're trying to say gaze as in with your eyes, or gauge as in a tool for measuring stuff, but that doesn't make one drop of sense to me. Frankly, I wanted to give them a three out of five for that horrendous word but Martina insisted on a four out of five. But in my heart of hearts, I give you a three, and that's the only thing that matters. I think it's a three. Lastly, I've been noticing this kind of pattern with FX's songs. I know that some of them speak English fluently, but a lot of the lyrics make it seem as if they have the vocabulary of a two-year-old. In Danger, we had da 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 da. In New ABO, we had na 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 na. And then here we have na 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 na. Hey, FX and 21, I'm on to in your nonsense language. My next guest, give it two years from now, you're not even gonna sing in English or Korean, but baby talk. <laughs> Last week we asked you which retro throwback song you preferred. Infinite with Paradise or You Kiss in Believe. And the winner was Infinite by like a lot. Sounded exactly like it, didn't it? That was perfect. I know, it was like an exact You're cover so of the song. You're so accurate at these things. Yes. For this week's Childhood Vocabulary Edition, we ask you which nonsense language you preferred. FX's na 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 in Electric Shock, or 21's bam ba da ta 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 and I'm the best. Ooh, this is gonna be a nasty battle, isn't it? Leave your votes in the comments or on our Facebook poll, and we'll announce the winners next week. Also, next week's K-Pop Music Monday is gonna be really hard to decide because I'm pretty sure Super Junior is gonna be coming out, so that means it's not gonna be hard to decide at all. Super Junior is probably gonna win. But if you wanna give another band a chance, head on over to ichikimchi.com slash kpop charts and leave your votes there. And lastly, don't forget to like and favor this video and to subscribe for more K-Pop Music Mondays. Take it away, Dr. Spudgy.